we did uh, feel that, especially uh, first half. I thought we uh, caused them massive problems on the counter attack at times, uh, and uh, I was very pleased with with, that, with the performance in that respect. Pleased with the team effort. We looked like a team again, a proper team that played for each other. Uh, but of course, you can talk all day long. We need to score goals. We need players to want to get that ball in the net, have that bit of luck that you deserve at times. When Steven hits the crossbar, that's uh, one of these things. Uh, he was fantastic today as well, defend, defending in a in a new position, in a system that we worked on all week and improved all week. Uh, and it almost gave us a result here today. Frank Callow played in that slightly different position. He, he did well in that. Three, the, the yeah, they're three very good centre backs, and uh, I can't say any players today played out of position. Uh, I think we we look like a proper team. Uh, with uh, at times, yeah, we uh, after about 15, 20 minutes, we we really caused them trouble. Uh, first half, I thought Gary Medell was outstanding. He got us ticking. Uh, his decision making was great. Craig and Fraser up front caused them massive problems on the counter attack, but with just that last ball, you know, when that should be slid in behind, it's just a stud from Zeki Friars or Fatong in back heel, or, and they stopped us from being one on one with the keeper three or four times. Well, uh, you scored plenty of goals as a player and now gone 400 minutes without scoring as a manager for Cardiff. Is, is not scoring goals, is that your main concern now? If you want to win games, you need to score goals, of course. And that's what we practice uh, every single day. Players practice practice it. Now it's about that dedication and that need and urge to get on the end of crosses, to get on the end of things. You know, you can't blame luck or whatever, but I think we'll do some very soon. What was the reasoning behind having three central def in central defence today? And is this the right way to play? To stay in the Premier League? I think uh, today uh, it suited us. I think the players performed really well in that system. We got hold of the centre midfield as well. Uh, they never caused us problems with the, with the diagonals they did. We conceded a sloppy goal, a disappointing goal, uh, but that wasn't because of our shape. That was We were caught on the break, a counter attack, uh, which was disappointing. So the shape was uh, spot on, I thought. It's not a system you necessarily use all the time anyway. No, 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 no. Is uh, I thought that was suitable here to play Spurs away, and I think we all you can see Declan and Fabio flying on, causing them problems. Yeah. You had uh, loads of positives to take, but you can sit here and talk all day long. Is that the best performance, Andy, yourself? I mean, it, it was. First really half, hard. I thought, was really excellent, yeah. but that it's you yeah, know no, that no, you no, get no, yeah. tarnished by that goal uh, when if you think you're set up right for a counter uh, for a counter attack against your your balance is right, but then Kimbo and Aaron just got caught wrong side uh, when the second ball uh, and we could have stayed with Soldado. Uh, it is wrong. Same happened last week, so it can't happen again. The owner was here today. Has he seen you since? Time or? No, it was last night. Uh, encouraging words to the players and ourselves. So uh, he's committed and he, uh, he supports us. Yeah. He, he said something to the, the group of players, did he? He said yeah. encouraging words to the yeah. players. Yeah. Yeah. Give us any indication of what? <laughs> no. <laughs> but we're we're all sticking in, sticking here together. That's that's the uh, the key, and you can see that today. It's about teamwork. If you're going to get out of this the last two months, it's not one performance or one and a half performance or one win or two wins. It's a ten-game run. It's a ten-game season now, the rest of the season, which you've got to get enough points to get out of this. Because we're still uh, in with a chance. And next Saturday, is a, they're all big games now, I know, but you know it's a winnable game at home, isn't it? So that's... Yeah, it's a winnable game against a team it's, which is in the same situation as us. There's two teams that have to go out there and try to win that game. We've got to, we're going to go out there and try to win that game, definitely. Well, because neither of you want to draw in that one, do you? That's, uh, yeah. that's no good for any of us. Yeah. Well, does the owner often come in and, and address the, the team like that? 
Well, uh, it's the first time since I've uh, been here, so uh, I think it was a, a good time. And uh, you could see the effect on the players last night as well. They were pleased to see uh, the uh, that he came. We, we all appreciate it, of course. He, he seems so determined. He came out over the weekend and did some publicity as if he seems determined that he needs to get the club together for this for this push. Uh, this this running, it, it needs, requires every single one of us that's got a... Bluebird heart, Cardiff heart. Of course, everyone from the fans uh, to the through to the players, everyone who works in the canteen, the uh, laundry up to uh, to Mr. Tan. Of course, we've got to stick together. That's the key, including those f supporters, I guess. Oh, they were fantastic a... today. Two thousand uh, Cardiff fans traveling and overshadowing, or not overshadowing. What's the what's the word? They there was great noise anyway and the players can see that and they appreciate it and of course that's, that sticks, sticks out that we've got passionate and great fans.